Good morning, everyone, and welcome to St. John Utes. Our presider this morning is Father Dave. Please stand. Come, Holy Ghost, create a bless, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. And together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may by your gift hold fast to them in the way that we live our lives. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When he entered Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together the leader of the Jews. When they had gathered, he said to them, my brothers, Although I have done nothing against our people or our ancestral customs, I was handed over to the Romans as a prisoner from Jerusalem. After trying my case, the Romans wanted to release me because they found nothing against me deserving the death penalty. But when the Jews objected, I was obliged to appeal to Caesar. Even though I had no accusation to make against my own nation. This is the reason then I have requested to see you and to speak with you, for it is on an account of the hope of Israel that I wear these chains. He remained for two full years in his lodgings. He received all who came to him and with complete assurance and without hindrance he proclaimed the kingdom of God 
and thought about the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Speak to God. Responsorial Psalm. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold. His searching glance is on mankind. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord searches the just and the wicked. The lover of violence he hates. For the Lord is just. He loves just this. The upright shall see his face. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Peter turned and saw the disciple following whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper and had said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers that the disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told him that he would not die. Just, what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? It is to this disciple who testifies to these things and has written them and we know that his testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did, but if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. Peter proceeded to follow the Lord physically, ultimately even unto death. As he moves ahead, he notices the beloved disciple, whose message is preserved in the fourth gospel, following as well. He asks about his fate. The Lord shifts the issue to the importance of Peter's discipleship. These words of Jesus gave birth to a rumor that the beloved disciple, the last to die, was not to have died until his return. As this gospel reading ends, we are reminded of the many ways that we are called to follow the Lord. We do not know how the beloved disciple died. We do not have any witness of his death. We do have the witness of his life, however. That is enshrined for us in the fourth gospel, which remains one of the most profound and haunting 
of the biblical books. There are many ways of serving the Lord, both in death and in life. In whatever happens, we are servants of the Lord. There are many ways of giving witness to the Lord in our lives, and it is up to each one of us to ask the Lord to help us to be his witness to the world. And now let's bring our prayers and petitions before our Heavenly Father. For the whole church, waiting with Mary on this final day of vigil and prayer, for the renewal of the Spirit's coming, we may soon feel the press of his response in joy and grace. We pray to the Lord. That the Lord, whose searching glance rebukes violence in all its forms, may grant repentance to all who have caused injustice or oppression, even if only by their indifference, so that there may be true peace. We pray to the Lord. That the Holy Spirit may again renew the face of the earth, watering our dryness, cleansing hearts, counseling the unsure, bringing all hearts to the Father. We pray to the Lord. For all who are suffering, those we love and those who are most forgotten, that the waves of light and healing that radiate, impelled by the spirit of love, may break upon the shore of every desolate heart, we pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead who follow Jesus in this life, that they may now follow him into his glorious kingdom of light and love, we pray to the Lord. The intentions for this Mass are for Teodoro Relatos and the repose of the souls of Kenneth Rowan, Chin Tuk Wo, and Jimmy Lim Sang Heng. For these we pray to the Lord. And now in the silence of our hearts, let us offer up our own petitions. For these we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear these prayers spoken out loud and held in our hearts, and that you grant them as all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Each moment 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Holy Spirit coming near, we pray, O Lord, prepare our minds for the divine sacrament, since the Spirit himself is the remission of all sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed for with the old order destroyed a universe cast down is renewed an integrity of life is restored to us in christ therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <clears throat> Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
as we proclaim your turn, as we recall your life, we remember your promise to return again. of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Hear in your compassion our prayers, O Lord, that as we have been brought from things of the past to new mysteries, so with former ways left behind, we may be made new in holiness of mind. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.
ଦେବେ ବୋଲି